The one on the left has expanded the bottom half of her head to cartoonish proportions, having the appearance of a hippo's mouth. Her original human imitation teeth are positioned on the right side of her mouth, so it looks like most of the expansion has taken place to the left side, though there are a few teeth over there as well. She's another one that looks so depressed to have this terrible deformity and clearly doesn't want to have her picture taken. And right after this, she morphed her face back to its normal human imitation form. The one on the right has also expanded the area around her mouth, but this was a permanent change that she made early in life. Permanent in the sense that she had to consistently look like this when she was in public. Again, they have no personal interest in human beauty. It doesn't matter to them what they look like in their human imitation forms, only that it serves its purpose as a disguise. Obvious jaw decompression or expansion, once again under the guise of a tumor. Her mouth is stretched out like it's made of rubber as she's increased the elasticity of the tissue. In the photo on the left, you can see the creases forming in her neck, which confirms that she's a drac. Here's another one that shows the lifelong alteration. In the photo on the right, she's generated extremely high reflectivity on the left side of her face, so that it shines like metal. They may be able to generate even higher reflectivity up to that of a mirror, but I haven't seen that yet. In the middle frame, she's making the V side to let you know what she really is. Obvious tongue decompression or expansion, and the area around his mouth has come forward from the rest of his face. This one has drastically altered the structure of its human imitation face. The mouth is stretched upward in the middle into a triangular shape and all that's left of the nose are the nostril holes, which have moved to a higher position, above the eyes. The eyes have moved very far apart, out to the sides, and it looks like she's either ungenerated the eyeballs, or they've turned red. Look at the moving hand in the middle frame. You can see talons forming on the middle and ring fingers. Like the other secondary shape-shifting we've seen, the purpose is to let you know that the main subject is also a drac shape-shifting. These are also shape-shifting under the guise of tumors. They've just morphed their faces into ball shapes. When they have the quote-unquote tumors removed, all they do is morph their faces back to their normal human imitation forms. There is no surgery. It's all shape-shifting. This one has generated the same kind of facial structure, but a more extreme version. She's turned the middle of her face into a ball, and her eyes have moved completely out to the sides where they bulge out from the sockets, like a frog's eyes. This is a radical change from a human skull to have the eye sockets on the sides of the head. No tumor is going to do that. These two have expanded their faces far out to the front, the one on the left resembling a bird's beak and the one on the right resembling a hippo's snout. You can also see reversions here. The one on the left has an elongated cranium, and the one on the right has a long, flat forearm and rounded elbow. They're showing you that they're Drax.
The official cause is a tumor, which is nonsense. Notice that his right eye is either pushed out of the socket, or the socket is moved and turned up, which would involve drastic changes in the skull. Either way, it's obvious that a tumor didn't do this. This one has expanded his head out to the side, including the eye. He's removed almost all of the texture from the skin and increased the reflectivity so that it has that plastic shine. Two more drags that have morphed their faces into disfigurations from their human imitation forms. With the one on the left, you can see that the pores are just empty craters. They don't contain sebaceous glands. That's one of the ways to identify them, which I'll discuss in more detail later. The one on the left has reduced his jaw to a simple form and the one on the right has ungenerated his nose and reduced the complexity of his entire face. It looks more like a ball with eyes and a mouth than a human face. More facial alterations, and the one on the right is also reverting his cranium. I'm sure you've noticed that most of these photos of disease shapeshifting come from Asia, primarily China and India. For some reason, the establishment there is more tolerant of this. The Dirac rulership in China have always made themselves prominent in Chinese culture, having dragons and symbols and mythology. They must want humans to know this to some extent, or at least give them the opportunity to know it. They can expand specific areas of their bodies and push out the tissue to create a bulge. And they can do the reverse. They can compress specific areas and pull the tissue inward to create concavities anywhere in their bodies. The only limitation is that it may begin to interfere with the function of the internal organs if they're highly compressed or deformed. The guy on the left obviously had to compress his brain a fair amount, and the one on the right his lungs, and maybe his heart. As I said, heart and lung compression must reduce their energetic capacity, but I'm not sure if brain compression reduces their intelligence. I suppose it's possible that they're dumber in their human imitation forms. Green skin is always a giveaway that you're looking at shape-shifting. The one on the left has ungenerated his human nose and left a hole in its place. It also looks like he's reverting the scales of the native form. The one on the right has drastically altered its human appearance into something that looks more reptilian. It's ungenerated its nose, expanded its mouth, and changed the shape and orientation of its eyes. That structure protruding from its forehead may be part of the center ridge only partially reverted. The skin has become coarse and leathery, and the only parts that still look human are the neck and right hand. This is shape-shifting captured on Google Maps. This individual knew that the vehicle was coming to take pictures, so he or she morphed into this form right before it got there and then morph back to the human imitation form after the picture was taken. The head is either decompressed from its human imitation size, or the body is compressed, or perhaps a combination of both. The skin is turned completely green as well. A short time after this was noticed, Google blurred out the individual, which you can see in the right frame. Later, they blurred out the entire house.
As I said, some of the photos used for memes are actually shape-shifting, and that's the point of using them for memes, to increase the visibility of shape-shifting in the mainstream. Most people probably don't make anything of it, but some may begin to catch on that something isn't right. These two appear in memes, and this is shape-shifting. That's also a clear example of neck elongation on the right. It's the same with these two, shape-shifting used in memes under the guise of humor. That's nose reduction on the left and nose decompression or expansion on the right. They've also reduced the complexity of their teeth and gums, and the one on the right has generated hair on her forehead below the normal hairline. Even though you may think it's photoshopped at first glance, the one on the left is shape-shifting. In addition to the nose, her left eye has moved to a lower position where it's far out of alignment with the right. She's also reverting the center forehead ridge and creases have formed over her right eyelid. Again, in the middle photo, you can see that those aren't real pores on his nose. They're just empty craters. The one in the right is classified as treacher Collin syndrome, but it's also shape-shifting. Here are more quote-unquote funny faces that are actually shape-shifting. The one in the right is vertical compression between the eyes and mouth, and he's also reverting the forward neck slant and tendon, and the extra lip as well. The one in the middle is front-to-back jaw compression and vertical elongation between the eyes and mouth. The two on the left have formed their mouths into shapes that aren't possible with human muscles. They're using their polymorphic ability to create those shapes, molding their cells like clay or putty. They could form their mouths into any shape they want to. It's just a question of what's acceptable to show in public. The one on the right is lip and nose enlargement, and she's also reverting the center forehead ridge. The one in the middle is eye and mouth enlargement, and she's also reverting the creases on her jaw and neck. The one on the left is lateral compression in the left side of the skull, and deformation in the shape of the mouth. 